What is up guys, it's Didi again, and uh, I've got another battle here. Uh, this is a UU battle against Monferno319, who I met off the uh, Smogan Battle Finder. Um, I, my, yeah, I have a UU battle today because my next battle that I had backed up was actually an NU battle using the same exact team that I had in my last battle, I believe. So I figured that would be kind of boring, so I went on the Smogan Battle Finder and had another battle today. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good battle. It's, um, I used a UU team I've been using for a little while on PO, and I think it works decently well. Um, I have a few weaknesses on this team. I'm, I, I'm definitely weak to, like, sh Chandelure, because that thing can fire blast, and, well, I can take it with Suicune, but, um, Suicune's physically defensive, and it can Shadow Ball that, and that'll stu still do a nice chunk. So you really have to uh, work around Chandler, and, um, then there's Rotom Heat. But, um, on this team, I basically have, uh, I can choose one of two leads. I either have Azelf or Ambipom, and, um, yeah, because Ambipom with a fake out lead, you can usually work pretty well. And then I have Stealth Rocks on Azelf with, um, Taunt, which is a pretty good, uh, it it counters other leads pretty well who want, want to get their hazards up uh, as fast as possible. But I'm going to lead with Azelf because I see he has a Mew, and I figure that he might want to lead with that, try to get his rocks up, since uh, rocks are always a good thing to have, you know. And uh, so I double taunt here. Um, I'm not, I kind of forget if I was predicting or not paying attention. I probably just wasn't paying attention, but it, it turns out he has no attacking moves, which is uh, good information to know. And uh, he struggles, which might seem a little stupid, but it's actually a pretty good uh, play on his part, because now he's broken my sash, and um, yeah, so now I can't switch freely into things like V-Create. I really have nothing to stop this Victini, even though my Psychic or Fire Blast probably wouldn't do too much anyways. And uh, I'm going to go into Suicune, Don't, not really want to, wanting to t lose my Azelf yet, since I know he has a Blastoise and that thing could rapid spin my uh, rocks away, which I will need in this match, since he has three things that are rocks weak. But uh, he's going to use turn out, which was a good play. I, I, I figured he wouldn't go for the fusion bolt just yet, because over-predicting early on usually isn't a good thing to do. And uh, he's go. oh yeah, now he's going to set up rocks, and uh, I can't really do anything about it, so I'm just going to call my end up, since that is probably my best option, since I could go to something else, but... Oh, I, I could have gone to Heracross, actually. That wouldn't have been a bad play. But um, he does have the Transform, which would have uh, you know, pretty much screwed my plans over, since Heracross does resist bug in uh, fighting, and yeah, those are my two stabs on Heracross, so I wouldn't really be able to hit him for uh, even neutral damage. But now he's going to switch, or I roar him out into Victini, which is great. I get a little bit of rocks damage on that. And uh, he goes into Blastoise, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, I thought he might want to try to stay in to Fusion Bolt me. And I really just want this Victini gone. So I'm just going to, I tried to Scald it. Because um, I, I thought he might have predicted the roar again. Um, but he doesn't. And he goes into Blastoise, which was a good play. And now he's going to rapid, rapid spin uh, my rocks away, which really sucks. Because rocks do hinder his team a lot lot. Um, so I'm just going to call mind up while he rapid spins because I don't really want that turn to go to waste. And now I'm just going to roar him out again and he's going to go into Kabalion this time, which is pretty good because I think Kabalion can uh, hit me too hard since I am max HP, max defense. And now I'm just going to try to scald the Kabalion to try to get a burn if he wants to stay in and maybe close combat. And uh, if he close combats, then the defense drops would re the special defense drops would really help me out. But I end up getting a burn on the um, Blastoise, which is great because any residual damage on that thing is going to help me wither it down really quick. Um, since uh, Blastoise doesn't get recovery either. And uh, now he's going to go out to Mew. And he is going to taunt me, which kind of sucks a lot. I figured he would do that since... I don't know. Maybe I just wanted to scald it. I forget if he showed me taunt already. But anyways, he taunted me, and now I scald him. Which is good, because I get some damage off on it. But now he's going to transform into Suicune, which stinks, because now he also gets my... Uh, Call mind boost, so I can't really do too much to him, and he can use my call minding set to boost his own special attack and special defense, which could be an issue, because I usually don't, I don't know, I don't think I have a Suicune weakness on this team, because I figure I can take it out, Rose Raid counters Suicune pretty well, and um, 
now that my taunt's off, I'm going to roar him out because I don't want that thing with all my boosts to stay in because that would be really bad. And uh, now he's going... I roar, or, Yeah, I roar him into Victini, which doesn't do anything because there's no more rocks. So he's going to U-turn out, and uh, I'm just going to go for a safe Scald again because I really don't like this Victini running around with uh, without rocks on the field because that's definitely a potential threat so now he is going to go into his blast toys just to try to tank that scald and to put me back asleep i really don't like this thing having yawn i would much prefer it have it have roar since i am faster and i can roar him out before he roars me out so um but he has yawn as his filler move i guess i guess he has rapid spin maybe toxic or protect uh and scald i guess and then i guess his fourth move is yawn which I do not like at all. And uh, so now I'm asleep. We're both asleep. And he wakes up first. Not, I think that was his first turn wake. Maybe a second turn wake. I don't know. But he's going to taunt me again. So now I have to go for the Scald. And he's going to get all my boosts again. Which stinks. Because I don't like him getting all my boosts continually. I don't see a lot of transforming Muse, to be honest. I, I know it does get transform. But this is actually a pretty effective set, I have to say. Um, yeah, no attacking moves is, makes you kind of taunt bait, but uh, I mean, if you can play around that, it works pretty well. And um, yeah, and now he's going to roar me out, I think. Yeah, and now I roar me out into Heracross, which is alright because. No, that's not alright. This is max HP, max defense. What am I talking about? Anyways, yeah, so I'm just going to switch out and go into Rose Raid, who I know can tank that uh, Scald pretty well. And I think I'm at plus three, maybe? Maybe? I think plus three. And that Scald does nothing at all. That just shows how uh, especially bulky Rose Raid is. And now I'm going to go for the Giga Drain, and luckily on this I'm going to get a crit, which really helped me out. I mean, I probably could have been easily swept by my own Suicune, which would have really sucked. But that uh, that crit lets me uh, now go into Ambipom and get the uh, revenge kill with Fake Out, which is great because now I don't have to worry about this Mew anymore. And uh, now I think he is going to go into his Victini. Yeah, because Victini outspeeds me. Um, I should probably add another priority. Maybe I'll add Azumarill. I don't know. I have a lot of ideas for this team, but I don't l like getting rid of the stuff I already have, because I feel like the stuff I already have works pretty well. But now I'm going to predict the Fusion Bolt, because I feel like that would be a good thing to go for, since Suic the Suicune Switch is fairly obvious, because I know he has to recreate I mean, what McTinney doesn't. Unless he's special, of course, that but I saw he was physical. And, uh, yeah, so now I'm just going to try to hit him with a Scald again, but he's smart and he's gonna switch out. And luckily I get the burn on this Venomoth, which does help me out, because, uh, now I get some residual damage on it, and it probably can't sweep my team. This was, I don't know, Venomoth never seemed like much of a threat, be just because I, well, I had Rose Raid, which could have dealt with it, but I lost that, so it probably was a pretty big threat, I just didn't see it that way. But anyways, yeah, he's going to try to sleep powder me, and he's going to miss the first time, which is unfortunate. I mean, it's 75% accuracy, but, uh, yeah, it has that chance to miss, and unfortunately for him, he misses. But it's not that big a deal, because I was probably just going to leave Suicune in to take the sleep anyways, and then I might have switched him out. For, yeah, just going to switch him out for uh, sleep fodder, and I'm going to predict him to go for the quiver dance. Um, if I were him, I probably would not have set up, just seeing how little HP I have. But uh, most people aren't going to uh, get greedy, go for that Quiver Dance, because they figure they might as well try to get the biggest hit off they can. But now he's going to switch out, because he can switch out, since I don't have rocks up. I mean, rocks really would have helped me out this entire game. I mean, because his Victini would probably be almost dead by now, or at least he would have 25% left, I think. And I forget how many times it switched in, but his Victini, the point is Victini would be lower than it is right now. And uh, so he's going to go into Kabalion when I have my Ambipalm in and just take that fake out. And so I switch into Heracross. And now he double switches going to Chandler, which was a really great play on his part. I did not see that coming. I figured he might want to try to set up a sub. I don't, I don't know what set he's running because I don't ever get to see that set this game. Because mostly what Kabalion does this match is just go in and absorb fake outs. And, uh, but now, he, I go into Suicune predicting the fire move, but he actually is not choiced as I thought he might be. 
I don't know what item he's running. Maybe he's running Expert Belt, which wouldn't be a bad set, but I feel like Chandelure's pretty bad speed would hold it back from using that. But anyways, yeah, he's going to 2k me with the Energy Ball. I, hoping, I, was, I, I was hoping I could live the second one, maybe, and maybe hit him back with a Skull just to see what item he had. But now that I know he's not choiced, I go into Nido King, who has a higher base speed, so I'm pretty sure I can outspeed him, even though I'm, I think I'm running modest on this guy, so... I was a little bit nervous he was if he was running timid and he might outspeed me, but he is scared of Nido King anyways, so, uh, yeah, he's just gonna switch out since I would naturally outspeed him if we're both running plus speed natures, and, uh... I think I just foddered out Heracross there, right? I, th I think that I thought Heracross would be my weakest link right now. And uh, so I go back into Azelf. Oh yeah, because Heracross is pretty much walled by the Chandelure anyways. And uh, Victini and uh, Venomoth resist my stabs. And uh, I figure that uh, Cobalion can be dealt with with Fire Blast on Azelf maybe. Um, so I'm going to set Rocks back up just because I want to uh, get that damage every time he switches in with Victini and uh, Chandelure. And he's going to U-turn kill me, which, um, it was a good play. Well, yeah. I mean, it prevents me from going into, like, maybe Ambipom and Revenge killing him or something. But now he's going to go into Chandelure, and I'm going to go into Nido King. I actually wasn't sure if I'd outspeed here. I know I have five more base speed, but if he, I guess he's not running a plus speed nature. Um, I figured you would run a plus speed nature on, I mean, Chandelure has got like base 145 special attack. You don't really need that thing modest. It's just going to wreck everything anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to kill it with an earth power. And uh, now I'm just going to leave my uh, Nido King in here for uh, death fodder. Since I pretty much have this match lost at this point. Since all I have is Ambipalm now. So I can go in and try to fake out. I was hoping he might not be smart and leave it in for death fodder but he's uh he's smarter than that so he's gonna go into Kabalion and i'm going to fake that thing out which will do nothing at all because Kabalion has nice defense and i'm gonna go for the low sweep i'm going to nearly take it out i was that was he lives with the tiniest smidgen i almost got him but then he's just gonna kill me with the close combat uh it didn't really matter if i killed him or not because victini would have just come in and revenge killed me anyways but um, now he's just going to take him out himself out with Life Orb, so that's going to be the narrow 1-0 victory for him. Um, eh, it kind of sucks losing, but, you know, it was a good battle, so I thought I'd post it. And, yeah, I think I definitely will adjust this team a little bit, because it's still a work in progress, definitely. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to get a Fire Water Grass Core in there, because that's a pretty good core for any team. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So rate, comment, subscribe, and see you later.